Hey, what's going on? Lead Gen Beast, Matty Eyes here, Leads for Locals. I have a really cool video for you today. I want to show you how you can uh, book more appointments, close more sales, get more clients in your business by using a really powerful lead engagement scoring system. Uh, it's a really cool feature inside of High Level that I just started playing around with. I think it's the, the feature itself has been available for a while, but I recently just started playing around with it. It is really powerful, guys. We can trigger some awesome automations and workflows, uh, just very personal, uh, uh, customized communication sent to specific parts of our audience, depending on how much they are engaging with our follow-up content. It is just really cool. So for example, if someone continues to open your emails or click on the links in your emails or you know, versus somebody that doesn't, that lead is obviously a lot, it's a much hotter lead than somebody that's not really engaging with your content. So that is something that you probably want to know is you can send specific types of emails, text messages, voice drops. Maybe you want to trigger uh, an AI chat bot. Maybe you want to notify a sales, uh, a, a part, a, a team member on your sales team to reach out to them um, because they've engaged with a certain amount of your content. Like it's really, really good information to have. So I'm going to show you step by step in this video, um, step by step, how to put that together and how to create uh, like basically create this uh, lead engagement scoring system and then how to create the automations around that score as well. So make sure you stick to the end. This is going to be some really, really cool stuff. Uh, my only ask as usual, guys, is if you find the video helpful, just hit that like button for me. It really does help. And uh, if you want to support this content and my channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you go through my affiliate link for high level. Uh, it's a two week free trial. I will have that in the description. I really appreciate the support, guys. So let me go ahead and share my screen and let's walk through uh, first. Let's go through the scoring system first, getting that in place. And then I'll show you how to put together an automation for it. It's 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 actually pretty simple. That's one of the things I love about high level is they make these types of things very, very easy to put in place. So when you're in your high level account, you go to settings and then we're going to go to manage scoring. And this is where you're able to create all of the uh, basically the point system for your engagement score for these leads. All right. So you can see here, we've got add new rules. I'll just show you what I have so far. Um, basically what I put in place so far is uh, if, if an email, if somebody uh, complains on the email, like marks it a spam, or if they unsubscribe, obviously that's not a very hot lead. So I just, I subtract them uh, entirely from the scoring system. Maybe, maybe you don't want to subtract all of their points uh, with your particular business. But for me, that's just not a very good lead at the, at the moment. So if they do that, then I just subtract hundred points here. And I'll show you how to uh, set this up in a second. I just want to go through what I have in place so far. Uh, if an email is opened uh, and if an email is clicked, like I just, I love this guys. Cause I, I rely very heavily on um, email follow like really long-term email follow-up sequences, providing educational content, just providing as much value as possible to people. Um, anytime I do a new YouTube video, I put it in my email follow-up sequence. So uh, anybody that is engaging with my email content, that is really good information to have. Uh, especially if I have, uh, you know, phone number, maybe have their address as well. Like I just did a video too the other day about uh, combining mailbox power with high level. So basically combining direct mail campaigns, uh, postcard campaigns with high level. Like imagine if you had the, uh, the, the leads address, uh, maybe, maybe you sold like a book or something like that, whatever. And you're able to create a lead uh, in, uh, engagement scoring system. When they reach that score, you can then send out specific types of postcards and gifts and stuff like that. Oh man, you can just go crazy with this stuff. But for me, when people are opening and engaging with your emails, that is a really good sign that they are following your brand. They value the content that you are sending. So, you know, if, if someone opens like over the course of the next couple of months, if someone opens, uh, let's say I send 10 emails and someone opens five, six, seven of those emails, that person's pretty engaged with my content. I might want to let my sales team know about that, or I might want to know about that. Maybe I reach out to them, uh, you know, thanking them for engaging with the content. Uh, if they want to book an appointment, click here, et cetera, whatever. So um, I add a point every time somebody opens or cl uh, and uh, clicks on a link in an email. Uh, obviously, if a contact replies, that's a that's a pretty big level of engagement. A little bit. Uh, more engaged than just opening and clicking email, like they're taking the time to respond to some of your content. Uh, so I add two points for that. And then obviously if someone books an appointment, I had three points for that as well. 
All right. So uh, this is very easy to create, guys. And there's so many things that you can use uh, to add or subtract points. So all we do is click on add a new rule here. And there's just like I said, a ton of different things you can do. So or uh, form submitted. So if they fill out their name, email, phone number, uh, maybe you have a couple of different forms in your business. If they fill out a part of the order form here in a specific funnel, um, you can do that. Uh, let's see what else do we have uh, there's tons of email event uh well i don't think there's tons but um the the main ones that you need anyways open clicked right and then uh, i don't know contact change contact tag like there there's so many different uh things that you can add to your scoring system here depending on the type of business that you have and what you're using inside of high level here and then over here uh once you decide what these events are then you can assign a certain number of points so you can either add or subtract points depending on what that event is and how much you like uh, how much you value it from an engagement standpoint uh from the lead you know uh, like opening an email is probably one point but again if someone books an appointment that is a lot more engagement on their end we're going to want to assign more points for that so uh, and then you just click save and you can just add all you, you can add as many as you want here. And then once you're done, all you do is publish and your engagement scoring system is good to go. From there, all we need to do is start setting up the automations. Like what do we want to happen when a lead reaches a certain engagement score? And here's the thing, guys, you can set up automations for multiple different scores. So you can set up an automation. Let's say they reach uh, an engagement score of 10. OK, we can set up an automation for that. Let's say they reach a, an engagement score of 20. We can set up an automation for that, right? So you can get very, very specific here. All right, so let's go to the actual automation side of this. I'll show you what I have set up so far, but <clears throat> this is by no means an exhaustive list here of things that you can do. There's, you can do just about anything with this. So let me uh, pull up my, uh, what, what did I call it? I think I call it engagement score. Yeah, okay, here we go. So contact engage, uh, engagement score 10. So right now I just have an automation set up to where when one of my uh, leads reaches an engagement score of 10 or greater, then it triggers this automation. I'm going to break it up like I just mentioned where when they reach 10, this is what's going to happen. When they reach 20, this is what's going to happen. All right. Uh, so all we're doing is we're uh, you're going to add a new trigger. Okay. And you're going to choose contact engagement score. So if you click add new trigger. We'll type in contact right here. So it's contact engagement score. You're going to select that. And then the filter, uh, the only filter right now anyways, is score. And you're just going to choose which, uh, which score you want for this particular, uh, this particular workflow. You can do equals to, that's probably, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Equals 10, all right? And then the next workflow that I create will equal 15 or 20, 25, whatever. It just depends on uh, what you want to do with your business. But I'm going to do uh, equals 10 for now. All right. So I uh, should be able to save that. Why am I not able to save that? All right. Uh, we might be frozen here. Hang on. Let's try that again. Equals. Okay. For some reason, it's not working. But anyways. Uh, wow. Okay. Having fun with high level. There we go. All right. So uh, anyways, the, the trigger is going to be contact engagement score. And then from there, what do you want to happen? What do you, what, what kind of automation, what kind of actions do you want to take place when somebody reaches that engagement score? So for me right now, what I have is I have an ad tag. So they reached this particular engagement score. That way I can actually go into my contacts list and I can, you know, if I want to do a bulk email or bulk text, a bulk, a bulk workflow, uh, you know, add them to like a reactivation campaign or whatever, I can do that very, very easily. I can also create a smart list around this particular tag. There's a lot of different options. So I always recommend at least adding a tag. From here, I might send uh, myself or my team an internal notification. I'll send, uh, I'll send an email saying, hey, this person has now engaged with a certain amount of content. We probably want to reach out to them. All right, so they uh, this is what I put in the email. They just reached this engagement score, contact to see if they'd like to schedule an appointment. That's it. And then I also send a custom email to that, the, to that lead uh, basically it, it's a little bit more personalized. Uh, I keep my emails pretty short and sweet anyways, but it's basically just saying, Hey, you know, uh, I'm, I, I really hope you've been enjoying the content that I've been sending you. Uh, would you be interested in hopping on a call to discuss your, uh, you know, if infinite, like for this business, it's a, it's an infinite banking business. And 
uh, I basically asked him, like, would you like to book a call to discuss your options about infinite banking to see if it's a good fit for you? If so, click the button down below or click here to open my calendar and book a call, et cetera. Uh, you know, again, depending on what your business is, I mean, you could you could have them prompt them to book a, uh, book a call, maybe watch a different like a very specific piece of content. Um, I think actually what I'm going to do at some point, too, is uh, I'm going to create a Loom video and I'm going to put that in the email, a link to it. And I'll have a very specific type of video that I send them, basically just saying what I did, just did in the, uh, in the email, but just making it uh, a little bit more custom, uh, customized, more personalized. All right. So we can send emails, text messages. Maybe you want to send discount codes. You can trigger AI bots in here. Like there's so many things that you can trigger uh, based on that uh, specific score. So lots of, lots of fit, uh, different things you can can do here guys um, i just wanted to share that with you really quick uh to because I, I just I, I love sharing this kind of stuff with you guys like the I, i'm still fascinated with all the really cool automations that we can build inside of tools like high level i think it just it gives us so much power so much control in our business it, it, uh, it really allows us to monetize the list that we build, the audience that we have, and just continue to grow our business. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, drop them down in the comment section below. If you'd like me to expand on some of this, if there's a specific feature of high level or uh, just something in general around lead generation, uh, a video that you'd like me to make, let me know what that is. And also, I would love to hear how you are using uh, features like this inside of high level too, because I'm always looking to learn from you guys uh, uh, as well. So I uh, hope you guys are crushing it. I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Maddie Ice is out.